Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today we have an AeroSharp solar power inverter and uh, if you have a look at the screen of this one we've got the uh, green fault light on and the power light is on as well but the run light is not on and on the screen it's actually coming up with grid volt error. Now if your AeroSharp inverter is coming up with a grid volt error it means it's not detecting any power from the electricity grid. So there's a couple of things that you want to check with that type of error and that is that your solar supply main switch in the switchboard is turned on and if your uh, inverter is uh, installed away from the switchboard it, will, it should have an inverter AC isolated beside it. You want to make sure that's in the on position. On with circuit brake is usually in the up position. So you want to make sure that's on and you also want to make sure the AC plug connected into the inverter which is this plug on the uh, right hand side of the inverter is uh, fully in place and uh, if, if that's all on and you've got power from the grid it's not a blackout or anything like that well then you are going to need to get an electrician out unfortunately to have a look at it I recommend a solar accredited electrician to have a look at this situation uh, and the first thing that they want to be testing is to uh, unplug the AC plug here and just check that there is 240 volts across the plug. Now, uh, in this case, there is, and we're still having the grid volt error, which tells me that it is actually an internal fault with the inverter. Now, if it is an internal fault, uh, fault with your inverter that you're having, unfortunately, AeroSharp are no longer around. The company is no longer around to honor any warranties. Come get this plug in now. Where are we? Here we are. Here we are. Yeah, no, AeroSharp are no longer around to honour their warranties, so you could try and uh, pay someone to get this repaired for you. In my opinion, I wouldn't. I wouldn't try and do that because you've got to be spending, throwing good money after bad. Uh, you've you've still got to. You you might pay five hundred dollars to get it repaired, and you've still got an inverter with absolutely no warranty. It could fail the next day, and you, you'd be up for more money. You're much better off, in my opinion, biting the bullet, spending a little bit more money and getting a good quality replacement unit, uh, which has a full warranty, and, uh, and pretty much start again. Now, whatever you do, it's always important to know the size of the inverter, which you can find off the, uh, the model the data plate on the side of the inverter here. So it tells us up here the uh, model of the inverter, HR-INV-XL1-030. That 030 at the end means it's a three kilowatt inverter. And if you have a look over here where it says nominal AC power, it, it's a bit hard to read there, but it says 3000 VA, uh, which pretty much means uh, it's uh, 3000 watts, three kilowatts. So this is a three kilowatt inverter, this one. So where because it is an internal fault with this inverter here coming up with this grid volt error we are going to be replacing it for the customer with a with a good quality replacement unit with the full uh, in our case 10 year warranty we're replacing it with a Fronius Galvo 3 kilowatt inverter which will uh, work very well for them so look I'm sorry to hear if you've got an AeroSharp inverter which is having that issue uh, but if you're near the Gold Coast or Brizzy uh, give us a call at Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions, we're always here to help. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful.